I'm Peter McClellan, Chair of the Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse. I'm speaking with you today from the Commission's Public Hearing Room in Sydney. Since the Royal Commission was established, and since the first public sitting in Melbourne on the 3rd of April 2013, much has happened and much continues to happen. Since we began, the Commission has been contacted by thousands of people. Our Commissioners have heard hundreds of individual stories. Public hearings are now underway and we've published a number of issues papers which are attracting many submissions and comments. And there's much more going on. All this activity is in response to our terms of reference which require us to look in detail at how institutions in Australia responded to the sexual abuse of children. If anyone wants to understand the terms of reference or any other information about what we're doing, please visit the Royal Commission's website. An early focus of the Commission has been on private sessions. These are not the same as public or private hearings. A private session is where somebody who was sexually abused in an institution as a child can come and tell us his or her story. This may be difficult for many people, but the Commission does provide a safe and supportive environment. Indeed, many of those who've told us their story, distressing as it was, were pleased they have done so. We've created a place where people can come and tell their story and be believed. The stories are very valuable in helping us learn about what happened and why and what should be done to prevent this ever happening again. If you come and tell us your story, it will remain confidential unless you're comfortable with it being released publicly. This Royal Commission has a huge task. Many people are relying on us to create an environment where sexual abuse in institutions becomes a thing of the past. The Commissioners and all of us at the Royal Commission will do everything we can to try and achieve that, both for those who were abused and for the nation.